In 1856 in Schoharie County, Abigail and Dyer lived isolated lives in the country, working as farmers. They are both devastated by the recent loss of their young daughter Nellie. A new similarly childless couple moves in beside them. Abigail is immediately entranced by Tolly the wife, and the two women form a quick and deep friendship. Abigail confides to Tolly that her marriage with Dyer is based on practicality, not romance. At the same time, Tolly reveals that her husband Finney, can be quarrelsome and controlling. For Abigail's birthday, Tolly buys her an atlas that she had longed for. When Tolly returns home from the birthday visit, she is caught in a storm that nearly kills her. Her husband takes her away to recuperate, and when she returns, it is spring, and Tolly resumes her visits to Abigail. Eventually, Tolly reveals to Abigail that she only dreams of being with her. Abigail feels similarly, and the two kiss. They begin a sexual affair. Dyer, who has become increasingly emotional since their child's death, is upset about Abigail's time with Tolly. Tolly's husband becomes similarly jealous of the hours she spends away from him. Abigail expresses concern about Finney telling Tolly of many husbands poisoning their wives in the county. Finney eventually asks Abigail and Dyer to dinner, where he uncomfortably brings up their lost child. Abigail notices bruises on Tolly's neck. Finney tells a morbid story about holding his disobedient dog outside until it froze to death. Afterward, Tolly only visits for a week. Abigail finally searches for her and finds her rented house empty, with only a bloody kerchief left behind. Though she suspects foul play, she eventually receives a letter from Tolly, informing her she has moved 85 miles away to the Scaniatlas area of Onondaga County. Abigail insists on going to see Tolly, and Dyer reluctantly complies. However, by the time they arrive, Tolly is dead. Finney claims it is from diphtheria, but a flashback reveals Finney holding and dancing with Tolly until she collapses. Abigail returns to her life on the farm. She and Dyer continue to work together but are still emotionally estranged. To comfort herself, Abigail imagines murdering Finney one day. She tries to picture Nellie and Tolly relaxing with one another in the afterlife. When Dyer asks her to imagine anything she can do to ease their longing, Abigail suspects Tolly in his place. 